In this code snippet session, we're going to have a look at the pretest loop, or what is commonly known as the while loop. Now, the while loop has a structure of while condition, then do something. So while this condition is being met, it will continue to do the lines of code with inside the loop. It is much the same as the if statement. When the condition is met, it then carries out the operation below. Now, this loop will continue to occur while the condition is being met. Once the condition is no longer met, it will then jump over and continue on. So how do we make sure that that condition changes and we leave the loop? Is by adding what's called a terminator. Now a terminator is very important because it allows the condition to change and therefore we're able to exit the loop and continue on with our program. So let's have a look at this in action. Let's start by making a counter. And we're gonna let that equal zero. Then we're gonna use the while statement and state while counter is less than five, do the following. What do we want to do? We just want to print counter. So our program will stay in this counter until it's no longer less than five. So when it becomes equal to or greater than five. But the problem is counter will never change at this point in time. It's zero when we enter but remains to be zero because there is nothing incrementing counter. So if we want to increment counter, we need to use counter plus equals one. This way it adds one to counter. This, can, this line of code can also be written as counter equals counter plus one. The shortened version is plus equals one. So let's run our program. And you can see in our output here, that we have zero, one, two, three, four. Now the reason why it stops at four is because when counter becomes five, so it prints out four, counter then becomes counter plus one, five. Is five less than five? No, five is equal to five and therefore it becomes false and then jumps over. We can also use this for like a computer game. We can have play a game equals y and then we can change our condition to go while play again equal equals y then do the following print let's change this to plain And then we need to change our terminator because otherwise we'll stay in this loop forever because play again equals y. If we never change play again, it always will keep looping through. So to do that, we need to create an input for the user. So we can go play again is equal to input play again. And then we can actually prompt the user with a Y or an N. This way they know what input to put in there. So if they enter in Y, and it must be exactly the lowercase Y, it'll keep printing plain. But if they put in any other character, because it's no longer Y, it will then, then this condition becomes false and it jumps over and continues on with our program. So let's see what our program does now. Plain, so it started Y, while play again equals Y, because we've set it to Y. It enters the loop, it prints out playing. Then it asks this question, play again, yes or no? Let's go with yes. Playing, let's go yes. Playing, play again. This time I wanna go N for no, and the program stops. So we can actually put a print statement back against the wall. Print, end of program. Let's do it again. Play again, yes. And then let's go no, end of program. Now, if the user enters in any other information, play again, I'll type in Marsden, because that does not meet this condition here, it jumps over the loop and continues on with print. Now, this is known as a pretest loop because we test before we carry out the operation. So in this tutorial, we've had a look at the while condition, we've looked at terminators, We've used a counter to increment. We've looked at different conditions. Also how we can have a terminator that increments and also a terminator where the user enters the information. 
So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. Also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Python snippet tutorials.